In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about where you can get quality images from for your e-learning courses that you're designing. Here's an example of where a lot of people go for their e-learning images. They go to Google Images and they type in what they're looking for. So if I need a picture of a computer, I do a Google Image, image uh, search of computers and then I have all of these choices available to me. But here's the problem. Every single one of these images, well, probably most of these images, are someone's copyrighted work. Whether it's a, um, you know, a, a cartoony image or, or something that's an actual photograph, you're either violating the rights of a photographer or a graphic artist or what have you. In fact, I might even be borderline um, violating those rights just by shooting this video today. But here's the thing, everyone's doing work for some particular organization. And if you're looking for images associated with that organization, probably the best way to do that is to use the company's website. In this example, I'm going to show you how to do that. Here we have the United States government's website. I've just picked them probably because most of their images are in the public domain. So I'm going to copy this link here just like so and I'm gonna to go to a, a fresh tab that has a Google image image search there and I'm gonna type in the word site followed by colon and then I'm going to paste in the US government in fact I'm just gonna take off the HTTPS I'm not sure if that'll work but we'll just keep it nice and clean www.usa.gov and I'm going to hit search. So now I have an entire uh, page of images that either have already been paid for or they're part of the public domain because of course uh, a lot of government photos are in the public domain by, the, by default. But here in this example I can use all of these images because they've been paid for by the organization that I'm working for. So I have a whole assortment of images that I can take advantage of in my e-learning and that's of course assuming you've been hired to actually produce e-learning for USA.gov. Uh, if you haven't, of course, you know, you could be violating someone's rights here. But again, when we're talking about a lot of photos and clip art and things like that, that's all um, done under um, Oh, what's the terminology now? Royalty free. Thank you. I had to think about that for a second. Um, you know, like so for example, this image of the keyboard here, some photographer probably took that and the US government paid for that photo royalty image wise. Uh, if you're doing work for the US government, you're probably pretty safe to use that image. Certainly this is a better approach than just grabbing images wherever and violating copyright. One of the issues that comes to mind is that as a contractor, if let's say the US government was sued by the original artist or photographer, you would be liable. You could be on the hook for possibly many thousands of dollars. So why not choose images where the uh, royalties have essentially already been paid for? So just to cover you a little bit there. Guys, if you like the videos I'm producing, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. And hey, if you like this video, why not give me a thumbs up?